Hi! Today we'll continue with rectilinear perspective and we'll cover accurate measuring in three-point, tilting, rotating, combining differently oriented objects in one picture. Also we'll use imaginary camera, move it around and see how it affects our view. At this point we know how to draw a box of any desired dimensions in one point and two point. Let's compare all types of rectilinear perspective including three point. Now, we always have three sets of parallel lines going through the space. You could call it X, Y and Z, width, height and length, or horizontals, verticals, etc. In one point perspective, we have only one set of parallel lines converging in single point, which is center of vision. Let's start with horizon line, center of vision. First set of parallel lines converging to that point. Another set, you could call it verticals, parallel to the picture plane and not converging. And one more parallel to the picture plane set of lines, you could call it horizontals, not converging too. Now we could freehand draw boxes in one point perspective. And one more here, using our lines. OK. In two-point perspective, we have two sets of parallel lines converging in two vanishing points. But third set still stays parallel to the picture plane. Let's start with horizon line, vanishing point 1, vanishing point 2. We have one set of parallel lines converging to vanishing point. We have second set of lines parallel to each other and converging to another vanishing point. And we have one set of lines parallel to each other and not converging because they are, are parallel to the picture plane. And now we could draw two-point perspective boxes using these lines. And one more here. Okay. Now in three-point, all lines converging in one of three vanishing points. This happens when we look up or down at something. Let's start with three points. Vanishing point one, vanishing point two, and vanishing point three. Three horizon lines and three sets of parallel lines converging to the point. This is first set, second set of lines, and third one. Let's draw boxes. OK. Let's draw a perfect cube in three-point perspective, rotated 45 degrees and tilted 30 degrees to our view using measuring points. At first, the construction could seem overwhelming, but if you did it a couple of times, you could do it all in your head without drawing. Let's start with vertical line. This would be our distance from station point to center of vision and we could call it station point one because there would be more station points in three-point perspective. Approximately 30 degrees up and 60 degrees down. We find our new horizon and now we should rotate this here and it would be 
somewhere here, we would find station point two. Let's draw 45 degree to the right, 45 degree to the left, and we'll find vanishing point one, vanishing point two, and vanishing point three here. Now let's connect these points. And we get we got our three horizon lines. This is horizon line. This one is horizon line. And this one also horizon line. Now, if we connect from vanishing point through the center of vision, um, we'll draw a line to the opposite horizon line. If we accurate enough, we should get a right angle. And now we have to find station point three, one more station point. Okay, let's draw, let's find a uh, right angle on this line. Okay, approximately here. Now, if we rotate this, we would find measuring point. Okay, it would be somewhere here, our measuring point three, because it from for this vanishing point. Now, if we rotate this one, we would get measuring point two. And if we rotate this, we would get measuring point one. Now we want to create a measurement or a unit for our cube. And it's easy to do with, um, you could do it with ruler, I would do it with circle. Let's do it like this. Okay, and now we should draw a line that is parallel to our horizon. This would be our measurement one, and this our measurement one. Our unit, one unit. Now we would draw line that are parallel to that is parallel to this horizon, approximately like this, and this would give us. Uh, this same unit for for this horizon. Okay. Now we have our units. We have our measuring points. Let's connect those from unit to measuring point, from center of vision to the vanishing point, and here our uh, near corner of the cube. From this intersection to vanishing point. From this intersection to vanishing point. And now we found our uh, top face of the cube. Now let's connect from these corners to VP3. And from this unit to measuring point 3. From this corner to vanishing point 2 and to vanishing point 1. OK. So we got our perfect cube in three-point perspective using measuring points. Now, let's see how we could combine multiple objects oriented differently in one perspective drawing. We could start with one point and add two or three point, or with three point and add two point. It really doesn't matter if you understand how these points relate to 90 degree kind of vision. So we will start with it. This is our 90 degree kind of vision. Let's find center of vision. With the center of vision, we could draw one point perspective boxes. Okay, like this. And if you remember from previous lessons that 
it's the same construction for 45 degree rotated cube in two point perspective. So let's draw that. Now we could rotate this two point perspective box but it would be still in the same picture. Okay. What we could do, um, we could draw three-point perspective box using previous construction. Okay, let's find our vanishing points. Okay, and we could even rotate or tilt horizon line, let's say like this, and draw cubes oriented to that horizon line. And I hope now you could see that with knowing one, two, and three-point rectilinear perspective, knowing how to measure accurately and how to combine uh, different types of perspective in one drawing, the possibilities are endless. Well, let's recap rectilinear perspective with a hand-drawn 3D simulation. Imagine a 3D software interface which has top, side, front, and camera view top view, side view, front view, and camera view. And uh, let's draw a simple camera and the box. From top view, this is box, this is our camera, this is camera, and this is box. From front, this is box and this is camera. And we would see in perspective camera view something like this. Okay. Also, software has controls for cameras, so we could move it left and right, up and down, forward, backward, zoom in, zoom out, and tilt. Let's see what will happen when we start to move camera. Let's say to the right. We could see it from the top view. Move it to the right. Like this. And from the front view. Move it to the right. Okay. If we move camera to the right, the object will move to the left. like this. Okay, we could uh, move it down. Let's move camera down. And we would see this box more like this. Okay, we could point the camera to the corner of the box. And we would see it from here. And it would change the whole perspective and we would see something like this.
Okay. Uh, we could move camera up, but still point into the box. Let's do that. Let's move it up, pointing to the box. And we will see that perspective changed and we see box in three-point perspective. Let's uh, tilt the camera like this. Okay, and it will tilt our camera view in opposite direction, like this. We could zoom in, which is really like cropping and um, enlarging photograph. And if we go forward, we would see that distortion gets bigger because object gets bigger relative to the perspective system. So uh, if you like this lesson, please subscribe, give it a like, leave a comment below and thank you. Bye.